1974, I dropped a car in the East River, and I believe there was a body in it. Today we're in New York City, continuing our search for the 50-year-old missing mob car dumped in the East River with a possible body in the trunk. They found the vehicle. They found the frame of the vehicle. They found the frame of the vehicle. The suspected killer, Roy DeMeo, was known for chopping up his victims and killing over 200 people. Will you stop it? Freddy, Freddy. Look at this guy's nuts. And he kept saying, crime scene and body. All you gotta do is whack somebody in the car, you get rid of the crime scene, and you get rid of the body. I don't know if it's our car, but there's definitely some cars down there. This is one in a million. On, I'm telling you a story. Yeah, car, and I this is what a homicide. I and you might feel be, like, get the f I gotta go so the guy that Go, go. Uh, go. Call the FBI. Kevin, go. Go. Kevin, go. Kevin. Go. I'm done. Let me do. I'm, I'm done. Go. Kevin, I'm Kevin. You. Him. No, f*** that bullshit. Yeah. Alright guys, it is day three, dive day. And, uh, Sean and them outdid themselves today. Check this boat out. This is ridiculous. So this is a uh, 12 meter safe boat RPB or CERC, small unit rivering craft or um, rivering patrol boat. And uh, it's been a labor of love. I got it about a year ago, been fixing it up, painted the tubes, cleaned everything up. She's running like a top. We're gonna look official diving off this thing. We're <laughs> gonna look like something. We'll look like, you don't mess with us. <laughs> I probably won't make them mess with us, I'm sure. There's no way they're up to any good eye. I'm taking this that doesn't look I don't belong in New York. Pirates. We started loading up all of our scuba tanks and equipment into the boat, and then Sean actually showed us something very interesting that he discovered. So there was a there's a 50 cal here <laughs> and a minigun there. And we start seeing like little things and Look at this little guy right here. Oh, wow. And the plate, the armor plate was here. So you can imagine like when someone's driving this thing, it's right here, right? Mm -hmm. their, their head is like right here, right? Look at that little guy. Oh, wow. Jeez. <laughs> that just missed him. Yeah, just Jeez. missed him. Then there's a couple of more on this side. There's one like here, there's a couple up front. So basically they were going yeah. and they got shot at by an AK from their right side and he just kept on loading on them as he went by. So is this like this is like something like movies could even rent from you or like use? Oh absolutely, yeah. 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 Big old storm just rolled through but I think we're clear for the rest of the day. So we're about to head back to the, uh, the boat scan. Taking we got the, the live scan today. Big boat. Yeah, this thing is a beast, man. Really, I cannot stress enough how much we appreciate Mike, Sean, all of those guys, like we literally could not do this trip without them. <laughs> and having this boat, and it's like in walking distance to our camper here, Liberty Park, so excited to dive. I am, I try not to think about it. <laughs> Just yeah, I mean, like I, I've day. seen a lot of other guys diving out here and there's definitely growth, there's, there's life. Um, there's probably gonna be a lot of junk. Junk in this but truck. We have such a limited time, we're gonna have to do our best to try to find this thing. It just stormed. It feels good outside. It's cooler. So I like that. And it seems like there's less barges and big ships. I mean, yes. I'm very in awe of all of it. Yeah. I'm just kind of looking around going, man, this is nuts. I'm excited, man. That 
That was so smooth. We made it back up to the 59th Street Bridge, which is the location of interest where the day before we ran sonar and believed to have found the remains of the car we've been looking for. I, I, I would say that might be a vehicle, yeah. and that might too. Well, this car definitely landed on all four wheels. It went nose first, front wheels first, and then back. And when I came back, like three hours later, the lights were still on. We met back up with Kevin Marr, who was the former FBI informant 50 years ago, who actually dumped the vehicle into the water. That car is the car that I put in that river 50 years ago. All right. All right, what's Ooh, that thing came in here. Yeah. <laughs> they bought they the handicap boat. Oh, shit. Made it. We're gonna, I guess, coast, like, float down again. And just run the uh, live scan this time. We set up our equipment on the boat again, and today we are running the live scan, which hopefully should give us a little bit better image of the vehicle. So now we're going to get a clearer picture of what we thought could be the car from this thing. Is, is, is that what we're? Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to brief my audience. Yeah, it should be a live picture. It'll be um, much clearer than before. It'll give us more more idea of what this thing looks like. Okay. So that's ready, right? Yeah, it's ready. We're secure and all. It was already scanning. So, looks good. All right, so we got the live uh, scan running today. This is a little better image of this thing. There's my, there's all my friends right there, my newfound friends, all of them help me on this thing. <laughs> so we got a little You can see the rocks going there. by. Got some like ghost lines. Hopefully, we get a better idea of the exact spot to dive. Well, it should be. Right there. We're pretty damn close to it. Yeah, right I'm here. shooting 50. You think I should go out more? I don't know. 50, 80, whatever. Yeah, they're talking about. Some big rocks right yesterday. Current seems stronger right now, doesn't it? What's that? Current. Current seems pretty strong right now. Yeah. Because the wind's blowing that way, it still seems moving fast. Okay, we'll try that. Right now you're shooting what? Right to the. Well, right yeah, you, you can see, see the, the edge right there. The, the drop off. Oh yeah, that's. Right. That's the shallow. It's like it's shooting directly into the rocks. Oh, gotcha. So we can see like as we float, if something comes by, we can see it. Fifty. I mean fifty. Fifty feet. Or well, we're kind of. Yeah. What is that? Right there. It could be anything really, but like that's kind of. Is the that stuff what we saw for. yesterday? It could be boulders too. That's a, it's very rocky here, so I, we could be picking up lots of. Boulders. But that would be a big boulder. Oh, we're too far. We're not yeah. even far. We're, we're over here. Yeah, right there. I think we're uh, dead. We're lined up pretty good. Right now, you said the car was. No, right. Which which uh? That first light post. That first light and then post. About right about in here. Somewhere. That first light post there. So we this is not the area. No, no, we're almost. It would be. It would right be, around here is the area. Okay, right here, but but down a little bit. A little bit, not, not much, up that way, right here. Like there's right some, here. there's some crap, like all right there. Huh? Like that looks like the pile we were looking yeah, at. There's some shrubbery in there. And, and, you, you that know, be, uh, and don't forget, that it's could... fifty. So can we want? Don't forget, this is fifty yeah. years ago. So I almost want to just go in and crawl down. I mean, you think that'd be best? Because then I could see if there's anything in the. We could actually get a straight line out of it. Yeah. Start crawling that way. <laughs> I mean, that was a pile that didn't look exactly like a rock, all the other rocks we're looking at. It looked different from everything else. A little bit. It looked more like a pile of crap. Well, I think it would be a pile of crap after 50 years of getting a saltwater bath. Yeah. Maybe you're onto something. Maybe we do just jump off of the bank at that light and just go straight down. I mean... The only problem is, how do we know when to stop? Just keep going out into the middle, that might be... <laughs> now, when you go, now, when you guys... We could try to mark it, but it's going to be a little difficult with the current. Like, 3.30 is like... Slack tide. Yeah. So I tell him, I was like, maybe we should just we should be in the water at 3, 3 15. Yeah, that sounds good. No, we could, for three. Yeah, we could drop down and maybe get a half an hour out of it. Yeah. Because the East River in New York City is so dangerous, we can only go diving during slack tide, which occurs approximately 30 minutes before high or low water until 30 minutes after. Slack tide refers to the time period when the tide appears to be neither rising nor falling. Literally, the water is slack. This is the safest time for scuba divers to be in the water in these conditions. So we've been looking at the live here. We pretty much have our, uh, we pretty much have our area of concern right where this light pole is in this little area and we're gonna go straight out and just see i mean as you said it's one 1.5 knots right now the current's one and a half 1.8 okay so that's knots. not bad right okay, that's 
it's less than uh, full. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting. I mean, it's it's right. We're pretty much in that low tide area, so we're gonna go ahead and get geared up, get everything ready. suited up right now we're about to dive we do have our OTS comms box that we use and uh, these are really amazing it allows us to communicate underwater and be a little bit safer using the Aquacom STX 101 and uh, be able to talk to uh, Sean from up here and that way if we see anything we can relay that information to him really quick if there's an emergency or anything like that uh, hopefully it'll be quick communication so let's get ready to get into the water now Jeremy's getting the buoy on, so we'll have that attached to him so they can uh, watch us. Right now we're just waiting for the, uh, the wakes off these ferries to, to go by. Those, those put off some big wakes, man. It's nothing for Nug. That's gonna throw a big wake. Have to wait for that to go by. We jump off. shore and once we find that spot I guess we'll head out and stay together kind of side by side yeah sounds good Roger yeah straight out Oh, 
Okay. Oh, what kind of me? Piece of glass, maybe a window. A piece of window glass, maybe. Oh, but... So I was able to locate a partial frame to a vehicle. It was basically half of a frame with two tires, two white walled looking tires, and I'm trying to figure out the brand of these tires. I still do not know for sure if this is the Lincoln, but it is in the right location. The tire is Atlas. A T L A S Atlas. Yeah, it's just the frame and two tires. Over. Okay, he found the steering wheel? Yeah. He found the steering wheel. Yeah, I got... I'm gonna look around this, but I'll... I'll 
Right here is parts of an old vehicle. It's very small condition. I guess, I would guess upside down, but it's just some parts and pieces. I got a thousand PSI there left. Over. Yeah, I do not have a line, but I can bring out parts and pieces. I have the steering wheel and the front gas cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the steering wheel has like a white, long, V-looking triangle on it. I don't know if that helps. I'm going to look around a little bit more though. Died. The current is picking up, but I got a bunch of parts off the vehicle. And they're going to get Jeremy now. He's probably getting pretty low on air. But. Ooh, that was tough. I don't know if it's our car, but there's definitely some cars down there, but man, there's not much left of them. Got some parts. Oh, you got the steering wheel? Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's got, I don't know, it's got like a, a white V looking thing on it. You good? Right. Yeah, it does wear me out. Did you find anything? Found a bone. Did you? Yeah. I found a car, what's left of a car, and I got the steering wheel. Man, I thought I was looking for you. I know, we got lost. When I lost wait. you, I was like, damn it. Yeah. I had no idea where but I'm at. I, my, the car is like, I found it's like not too far off the shore right here. Did it make any sense? Like, it's upside down, it's upside I think. Down? Well, the steering wheel was on top. I don't know. I guess it, if the steering wheel was on top of the soil, then it's not upside down. Well, he grabbed that thing and scared the shit out of me. Yeah, we had no way. I, I just, I mean, I, I know was you, heading back because I had a thousand. Yeah, me too. And I started coming back. But yeah, I got a, I got a pile of stuff here. I, mean, I got the steering wheel. It's basically like two tires and the axle, and then it's that's it sitting there. And then there's where like the trunk and everything was. There was no telling. No telling. I mean, it's a pile of crap, man. I mean, I got like this stuff off. I got the steering wheel. I got some other parts and pieces. There's a lot of a lot of car tires and stuff. Dude, I didn't find any of that. Really? No. It's all right here. I was kind of up right here. Where was I at? You were way out where their boat is right there. You okay, went far. So I made it far enough. You went far. I just kept going and I was like, I don't know what. But like I found something, I could put a pocket. I don't know if I found like some kind of spark plug. 
I found a Coca-Cola bottle. I think I don't know if I dropped it or not. I put one in my pocket. Did you? And I got two bowls. I but, found a headless figurine. Really? Yeah, I have no idea what how old it is. You got a, a bone though? Huh? A bone? Yeah, but it just looks like the center of like a big fat ribeye. That's I found something like that too. So like I put that in my pocket. I don't even right. know if I still have this stuff in my bag. It might have I don't know if it's human or not. Like maybe, but it looks like something came out of a processing plant, like a big ass steak or something. Yeah. Well, I don't know what their plan is. I'm but... glad you found the car because I started feeling bad because I was finding baby car parts, like the the wheel hub, but it's yeah. like that chrome piece that just slaps on a steel wheel. I found that. I found a spark plug. I mean, that's. I might be able to identify it's, with that. What type of steering wheel is on a on on this car? Man, I'm jealous. I don't have no idea. But you'd be able to look at it probably and tell. And that's part of the dash. I mean this car I don't man. I think the current even stopped before I ran out of air. Like it was still going that way. It started picking up right when I came up. Well but it's supposed to be going that way. Like the current was still going that way when I was coming back. So I was like, I don't know. It wasn't near as bad as like, it was like any river we've been in. Every so often though it would stop. Yeah. And then it would kick up and I was like, oh, that's weird. And every so often I'd feel this push on my feet. So I, I think that it's coming in, but we still got a full dive out of it. Yeah, I got a full dive. So I mean, more, better than expected. Well, we got a car, but. You got a car. I fucking so mad I lost you. I was looking around. I was like, where the sh You They go? said you weren't, you weren't, you were a little ways, but not too far, but yeah, you were pretty far out. I got out there pretty far and every time I found a car part, I started going upstream thinking maybe it floated back down or something. Never did come across anything, but I wonder if that's, where was the car? I mean, it's around where they're, it's around like right there where the boat is. Hey, why are you, why found the, their car? Yeah, above me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> John. Is that right there? Ah. Well, the steering wheel has like a, a, yeah, a white V on it. I don't know what the, So now, let me ask you, the, uh, yeah, it's just two tires and an axle, and it like sticks out this much from like the, I guess the, what is it called, the drive, the shaft, okay. and then nearby was all the rest, like I don't know if it was a different car, but that was sitting there, and it was pretty buried, but that was right on top. Oh, look at hubcap. <laughs> is that Pontiac or Lincoln? He'd be able to tell. He's... Is it a Lincoln? I didn't see anybody hey, Kevin, is it a Lincoln we're looking for? Lincoln. A Lincoln? What does the steering wheel look like? The, it should have a, it, it should be thin and it should go from left to right like this and have a, a chrome i think it's got the lincoln medallion in the center yeah it wasn't the whole dive man. it wasn't bad it never changed on us it wasn't bad hey, who, who's a google guy can anybody google the interior of a 1971 lincoln town car you, oh you're sure the fact that it's got that gold thing going around there, that means a luxury car. I found, I found That's a bunch how they of car parts, I found the remains of a car. It looks like Jeremy may have found part of a, uh, a bone. So you dove around, and you didn't find much, but you did find that, it looks like a bone. Yeah. Part, a slice of a I mean, bone. I found, I found some car parts, a spark plug, Drop it in the water. No, air, air filter. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, air, air, air filter lid. So. I, to so I wonder how long it would take them to, to test if that is a human bone. I'm sure it's not too complicated, but that's what we're looking at. Yeah, I mean it's a bone. I just don't. It, could, so, it could be a leg bone. No. And so Roy DeMeo was known for doing that. Well, Roy, you know, when he first put that, pulled it up, and he said it was cut, I said, oh, well, so it didn't dawn on me right away. Yeah. That was Roy DeMeo's forte, his mo, whatever you want to call it, cutting up people and get and throwing them in the fountain avenue dump, or now over here. Who know, and that guy, when I took Roy DeMeo here for the first time in 1974, and that car went in so easy, he loved this spot. So I know he came back. And now we, we actually, if, if you could pan around to the, to the river. Out of all of this water, these remarkable men found that bone, the hell with the needle in the haystack, a bone in the friggin' East River, how, how, you know, that's like mind blowing. Oh yeah. So we got NYPD uniform officers responding to the scene, and um, I'm probably I'm gonna have to go to see the detectives now. I couldn't get a detective down here. I spoke to a detective in April, mm -hmm. and he assured me if we 
if I brought him one frame of video from my little submarine, yeah. that he would open a case and then he would have you know the power to pull in the cars out. Yeah. So I think we did one better. I also, mean, I, I got a steering wheel to something. We're gonna, we gotta now, look. We gotta look that oh, up. Oh, you got it. Is going live now? Also. This is a luxury steering wheel. How can I tell? Gold trim around the edge. Is this a Lincoln Continental steering wheel? We, we're gonna Google it. Or oh, somebody's gonna Google it. I don't know There's 100% a a a vehicle though. Oh, no, no, this is a luxury car. This is a luxury car steering wheel. This is a luxury car steering wheel, but a gold trim that you can clearly see around the edge. Yeah. This is, a, this is the right color, but the, this is not. Oh, yes it is. That was definitely by something well you know Roy was be... Roy, Roy DeMeo was famous for doing what sir cutting people up, cutting people up. Oh, yeah. oh yes what was he like the Gemini method or something yeah but that but this, that this in this time period yeah, in, in this in this time period he was you know the Gemini wasn't around uh, Gemini method came like maybe five or six years after that but that doesn't mean that he couldn't be cutting people up and yeah. You yeah. might that we're gonna have to call the cops. I mean, call your guy. I mean, we we did what he wanted us to do. Found a car, got it's, video of it. Not, I don't know how they would pull it up. They'd have to get like a. They'd have to dive down to it. They have to dive hang down. On, I on, mean, hang on. Okay, so here we you go. You were in the I'm same gonna... spot for like ten or fifteen minutes, right? Yeah, I would move a little bit and then I'd start looking around. Oh, yeah, the, the, the huh? At the end, you were in the same spot for a while, right? Yeah, I came across a little like a bottle here, a trinket yeah. there, and then I was like, I was just like looking around. Came across a big old blue crab, and uh, he was not happy because I poked him to get rid of him, and he just like, I was like, oh. Phone number for the 114th. <laughs> yep, I got, crab, I got crabs. I didn't see any crabs. I saw a big. Yeah. Is this striper right here? Yeah, that looks like a big striper. Yeah, yeah. big one. He's carrying a fever. I was kind of thinking that. It's like it's a big bone. And we got somebody filming this. My name is My name is Kevin Moore. And this is gonna sound a little weird. Um, I I was a paid CI by NYPD for 30 years. In 1974, I dropped a car in the East River, and I believe there was a body in it. Now, I have a dive team right now under the 59th Street Bridge. We recovered parts of that car and possibly a human bone. So could you please send somebody over here where the park is, the Queensbridge Park, and that we may have uh, recovered human remains from a vehicle that I put in the river 50 years ago. Yeah, we believe it. Yeah, the, the, the guy that was involved with this crime 50 years ago was Roy DeMeo. The New York City police linked him with 200 murders. He was a serial killer and his M.O. was chopping bodies up. And the way this phone I'm holding in my hand right now looks like it got cut up. So, you know, you put all these things together. There was two divers in the water for over an hour. And then we finally got it. Hey, was this the most crazy story you had today? Oh! <laughs> well, maybe while wow, this thing plays out, it may be in your entire career. Let's check it out. Thank you. God bless you. They got to act professional. Okay, God bless. I got a God bless. I got a God bless out of the dispatcher. I'm probably going to jail today. This steering wheel, if it belongs to a Lincoln, could be the very steering wheel that I steered that car off that pier 49 years ago. Are you kidding me? Blow your mind? Oh, no. Oh, oh, did you Google the steering wheel? Look at the steering wheel. I'm looking at it. Oh, gee. Oh, oh. Really? Yeah, fuck. Oh, gee. I found a picture, 1970 Lincoln oh. Continental. Exact same steering oh, wheel. Oh, there it no is. Oh. Wow. Oh, no Jesus, way. Jesus. Get out of here. I Mark steered three. this car 50 years ago. Oh. <laughs> oh. See? Hold what it. the fuck? Oh, they break it? No, don't, no, you're good. Don't let me handle anything no more. I can't. Where's my phone? Oh, yeah. Holy yeah, man. Jesus oh, Christ. This is one in a million. 
this is one in a million. I want to keep this. This is one in a million. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And you know, it's not that far offshore, so I think I can find it pretty easily again. Oh, yeah. The what? What the fuck do I look like? Don't you. touch your, don't touch your face. Don't give me that. Oh, oh, the <laughs> oh God. Oh, what this? Can't. That's the car. That's wild. I can show yeah. you the video. I mean, Excuse I got video. Me. Excuse me. To all you guys on my channel. Yeah, when I was full of shit. Here it is right here. Here it is so right there. your hands steered that, that in. Yeah, yes. years ago, you, you held that steering wheel. That's pretty crazy. How? Huh. That's impossible what you just did. <laughs> I can see finding the engine. I can see the, the, the car. There's a the second picture. Wow. Same, same 1970. That's it. That's it. Get a picture. That's amazing. Hey. That's amazing. 1974. Whoa! <laughs> There's a widow. That's a lot. That was it. That I, I sort of remembered it differently, but and I said it was thin because back then, luxury car steering wheels that. Are you filming me? Uh -huh. Are you filming me? <laughs> was that my good song? Oh, you shut it down. shut it off. I got you. Good film. Oh, shit. Can you hear me, my GoPro? Oh, oh did you hear oh, I screamed so loud? You know what's oh, funny? I found a horseshoe. What? Yeah. Did I not tell you yesterday? What did I say, Sean? What? what it, it look, I, I, I think it's a horseshoe. It broke Do you apart. Remember me saying that's. What the hell? Are bones? Well, it was shaped like. That's a piece of shit. Bro, hey, that's a New York uh, that's a turd, petrified bro. turd. It looked like a horseshoe underwater, though. <laughs> you found doo doo. That's what you call it. New York all right, all right, all right. But what about oh. this? Maybe this is the same oh, thing. Cool. This hey, is what I found that looked like a bone what, to me. You guys. Yeah, it, yeah, it could be, yeah. Could be something in there. Because it had the yeah. circle in there, and I found a bowl. You found a bowl. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's all I got. You know what I think this is? I think this is a screwdriver handle. Oh, you think so? But yeah, I don't know. I mean, it could be. I saw that. I'm like, maybe the marrow or the center. There's a couple bowls right next to each other, though. Man, where was I? You saw exactly where yes. I was. Yeah, from? you okay. were close to shore, man. Okay, so yeah. You, you was talking, so like you could see his bubbles and everything. So yeah, you knew yeah, exactly where we were. We were watching yeah. both of your bubbles. Mm -hmm. I would have loved to have communication with you, but we had the visual mm -hmm. and we saw bubbles. As long as I knew you had bubbles, what I would have liked to ask you though is how much uh, air you had. I would kept oh, yeah, yeah. How much yeah. air you got? You good? You good? Yeah, I, I hit a thousand, and that's when you saw me start going back. That's when yeah. I started going back at yeah. a thousand. Well, we knew he was at five. Oh, we got it. And I'm like, hey, we got to go over there. there. Cops are coming. We got to go over there. All right. Hey, do we want to take, give my steering wheel up? Whose possession know. is this steering wheel anyway? I, I'll fight for it. Well, I think not, the cops. Well, let's cool. get plenty. Of, <laughs> let's get I pictures think, and I footage of it uh, before we get over there. Yeah. So here's all the parts. It's able to pull off. Uh, what else did you find? This little headless figurine. The like Virgin Mary, maybe? It's something. Maybe somebody knows in the comments that can leave a comment. It's got roses on it or something. I found the Coke bottle. And I, that my, I wonder if that's the one I found that I dropped. I don't know, but like, I saw the <laughs> bottom say New York, and I was like, I've never seen a New York. That's what I wanted to say if I lost mine, man. <laughs> and I found that. Oh. That could be filled. It's sealed shut, so that could be... I don't know what could be in there. It could be ashes for all I know. Maybe we should open it. Man. Maybe. But it's taped shut. So look, it's, it, it might be a prayer jar. Yeah. Honestly. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't knowingly drop no fucking body there. I didn't do it. Now, if they want to charge me, prove it. Well, right they, now it's just littering, right? Because there's, uh, there's no, no confirmation. There, there's two crimes that I would be guilty of. Transporting a, a corpse without a funeral director's license and accessory after the fact. But I didn't know there was any fact. You made an interesting point. Can you address why you don't think it'd be an issue talking about these old mobster cases? I'm not afraid. I live my life. Um, I can honestly say that I have never done anything as a paid informant that I'm ashamed of. I, I have never experienced a euphoric high like I have today when I held that steering wheel after 50 years of it being submerged. These guys pulled up a whole bunch of parts, but they pulled out the one part that I had in my hand that drove, I don't want to get into that, but 
drove that car into the ocean, and 50 years later, these brave, and I'll tell you something else, going in this water ain't no joke. These guys risked their life today doing that. And, and maybe the bone that we recovered, maybe there'll be DNA on there, and maybe it'll bring the family some closure. I hope it does. Oh, there they are, right there. Okay, let's go, get me over there. Run! <laughs> hey, do you carry key tank? What do you want me to do, dude? Are you guys all geared up for an unbelievable story? How about you? You are? I'll be the judge of that when I tell you. I have to choose my words carefully because we did find some remains. There's no statute of limitations. We found the remains? Yeah. I'll get to that after I tell my story, Mr. You don't want to even hear the He's not being rude. He's not being rude. He's all, yeah. I don't even know what's going on. He's trying. We got to call a lot of people. Okay, all right. This guy, Roy DeMail, was a feared mafia soldier. He was a Gambino crime fighter. You guys and the FBI linked him to 200 murders. He would dump Later on, now, this story takes place after he just killed his first victim, murdered his first victim, in July of 1973. They had a 1971 black on black Lincoln Town. And they told me it was a give up, which means an insurance for them. You dump it in the water. So I had my favorite spot, which was right there in the one of the prison, that historical building. Well, back in the 70s, they had no gates. It was full of brush. And I used to take all those cars and dump them in that river. Joey Burkini and Roy DeMeo was there and they paid me $500 as recording, right? Yes. To get rid of that car. Well, I'm gonna tell you the truth. So I did. I drove to Kapar from Jamaica to Long Island City over here. Once I got on the van wick, it was cold. I rolled up the windows. And I smelled that smelt. Smell. You know what I'm talking about, right? Is all, do you ever smell a thing that smells? There's only one thing that smells. There's only one thing that smells. So the window's up. I actually tasted it before I smelled it. What the f is that? And none. Um, Turned around, aimed my nose at the back seat, and the odor got stronger. When I picked up that car, and we know it's that car, the glove box was broken, and they have a yellow button which says trunk release. The button only works when the car's ignition is on. That button and that switch was gone. So now I'm halfway between Jamaica and here. I'm smelling this shit. What do I do? I did what I had to do. I never saw a body. I took that car and I was nervous. And what you usually do is you crack the doors, you throw it in, and it sinks pretty fast. Not in this case. In this case, I forgot to. Close the doors and roll up the windows. I'm going to need some milk. And I left the lights on. And usually when I would throw these cars in the water, I would have somebody outside the gate taking me back. And in this case, I had this guy on the other side of the bridge because I didn't want anybody to know where my spot was. So the car goes in. And this is almost a 6,000 pound car. One of the largest cars on the planet. The car goes in. It goes like this. The lights are on. The trunk, it's the front of the car is this way. The tail lights are on. And this tide took it. Took it to the bridge. Took it under the bridge. Took it 35 feet past the north side of the bridge. 90 feet off the shore. How do I know this? Because after he dropped me back off in Jamaica, I came back. And the headlights and taillights, I could see exactly where the car landed. Two hours earlier, the lights were still on. 
So I knew exactly where it was. And these guys go into the river on their hands and knees. Just, yeah. just now, this is just now. So, yep. Yes, me and him both over there. Okay. Don't interrupt me because I have ADD. Then I have to start the story all over again. You're doing great. You're doing great. So my, uh, Today they were on their hands and knees. Yep. So yep. underwater because they believed in me. Mm -hmm. I knew exactly where that car was because the lights were on. I knew exactly where it was. So these guys, all these, all these team, Bob out there, they just believe my story. They go to their coordinates, and after 50 years of being in salt water with an eight knot pipe going through it, the car is just a pile. They get in there, and they risk their life going under there. It's dangerous, yeah. you know? And they pull up the steering wheel. And of course, I'm trying to remember what the steering wheel looked like. And he pointed out, it's got a gold uh, rim. rim around the steering wheel. So that, okay, it's found in the exact same spot that car went down. And then we Googled it. Everything was identical. That was the fucking steering wheel I drove into that river 50 years ago. So what would be the chances of that make model steering wheel be right where I put it 50 years ago. Can you calculate that? Maybe Google, I don't think so. Google this thing. Mm. Like explain some things. <laughs> what happened? Oh, where were the bones? You got the bones? Now, nope. before I say anything else, this that? killer. No, I was, this I would say what? Killer? 20, 30 feet down <laughs> through the field. Then? For chopping up his body. Oh, the car? The That's first. Where going for. See the, the black light. And then we hey, found that the first one on this side of the bridge. Straight out. 90 feet out. Yeah. That's where we started. You know, I guess we V'd off a little bit. He hit the car. And then I started picking up car parts and I come across this. And now it's it, what we're thinking is because this guy that, that did the, the murder, he was known for chopping up his victims. If you look up and so that's why we don't. We don't this could, could be a dog bone, but we don't know. We kill in but this we do know we did find a location of the car. Yeah, and it's yeah. dead on accurate yeah. to what he no, described. No, he, he's the dumb we looked it up. The steering wheel matches the 70s uh, Lincoln Continental. Uh, and there's not much was, left of the. This was what he was in. Yeah, I mean, it's. But I mean, you know that car. That's where the car settled. You know? Hey. Is your killer that worked on? Joe Rifkin. I mean, it's pretty freaking big, but I don't know how big I don't know if the coloration is right. You know, we're not a forensic. We're also talking 50 years, so bones are going to discolor out. And salt water, you're going to have shit growing all over, you know? Hey, we'll get, but I'm sure they'll be able to figure out. I can't talk to them. Yeah, basically, we have we have a car matching the description. Yeah, like he, he potentially remains. Yeah, we scanned it with sonar. We found a cluster of something. Yeah. Like, that, that could be the car. And so we just like, okay, well, that's the starting point. Yeah. So we just dove to it, and he land, he hit it. Yeah. Like I mean, you could tell that that was a car at some point, and then the steering wheel is dead on match the car he's yeah. describing. I pulled off a few parts. I mean, it's a pile, a mess of car parts. Half, I bet if we found it again and really start digging, yeah. start finding parts. I mean, it's all a pile there. It's just, um, yeah. Well, today we have DNA. So. Maybe hey, it could be a dog bone, but at the same time we know where the car is. Yeah, we will. So, the car shows up. only one we found, or is there? I get out. This is the only one we found. It was downstream from the car. I got, I got the, the, the remains that he's talking about were, that was supposed to be the trunk. Much. Yeah, Google. So they could have washed downstream, or they could be clustered. That many years ago, that would have been. Yeah, they were like 50 years. Over the years. But it's just all the coincidences. Like we were just saying. <laughs> it's all lining up pretty good. Could it be, you know, from a stake? Yes. But it was right where he said <coughs> to put the divers down and. And, and then the steering wheel too. Uh, the steering wheel. When we go, can you give me a picture of the Google of the steering wheel? Do you have that? I might. And he showed me the steering wheel, and I took that one and put it right up to it. Eh, match. There's a detective he's been talking to one forty two, but he doesn't remember the name. But he's, he was pretty much saying if you can find us evidence there's a car, we'll open the case. But now he doesn't remember the name. So. That's all right. For me.
to make that decision the only one that does out of my league. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I get it. So, oh, that's what I'm not gonna yep. call units. Oh yeah, I hear you. I just know like I know that a detective has been informed on what we're doing. He just doesn't remember the name of it. So somebody will probably hear about it and be like, Shit. <laughs> I mean, what is the next step? Can we give the bone, or how do we get that to get tested Maybe. by somebody? It all depends if it's in fact there is something and. Depending on my lieutenant, what he deems, you know, we'll have a school board team come out. Okay. See if we find anything. Yeah. We'll find out. yeah. Pretty crazy story, but yeah. everything, I mean, and we didn't even, we, you know, they dumped allegedly 20 yeah, plus like cars. Yeah, his favorite dump site. But that's the one we found, and that's the one we were looking for. Well, we don't know. But I saw your look of excitement. <laughs> you guys cold? We did. Am I cold? I'm not cold. You guys cold? Uh, I cold, yes. Okay. It's a long story. You open minded? No. Yeah, not the whole story. Yeah, not the whole story. Yeah. It's the key points. Why we here? Why we here? No. Number one, I'm a CI. Why we here today? You're here today because I was a CI. Let me tell my story my way, okay? Oh, okay. Oh, well, I mean, that's where you get paid the big bucks. I don't get paid what the big bucks. What is your lieutenant making now? Like 150 a year? Yes. 300,000. No, they 300. I know how much it is. Because I know what we're doing. Go ahead, buddy. I have to go. I got to appreciate it. There's yeah. better things to do to listen to me. Very interesting. Okay, in 1974, yeah. you know who Roy DeMeo is? I do not know who Roy Okay, he was one of the most oh. vicious mafia guys <laughs> in, in modern What's history. What's that his name? Yeah, he does. Yeah, uh, this guy, you know what? I don't even want to talk to you. Do you, uh, you, you want to explain about what is it? I'm telling you a story. Yeah, the car? Yeah, this is what a homicide. And it you might be, feel like, get the fuck, I gotta do something. Go, 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 I could give you the clip of that. I mean, obviously you understand he, he is super old school and, and that's just, I mean, that's just how he is, unfortunately. Okay. But I can give you the cliff notes if you want to, if you don't know real quick. Why are we here? We found a car in the water that he dumped 50 years ago. Okay. And it possibly had a body in the trunk. And we, we heard his story and we came to help him. We dove today, located the actual car, the remains of it, because it's been 50 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, a little bit downstream, we found a bone that could be off a stake, but it could be a human. Like okay. a femur bone, because the guy who killed um, the dude that was in the trunk was known for chopping up his victims. This is all the way back in the mafia days, so some crazy ass shit. So 50 years ago, this happened in what, what the we 70s. Because his story panned out, and we found the car that possibly had a body in it. Oh, there's no body. You found you found the body inside. We found a bone well, that wait, could be bone? human. It's in my pocket. It's right here. Now Tell me that bone could be human. If it is, it was a uh, it was a femur, and it looks like it was cut. This dude was known for chopping up his victims. So I mean, it's a crazy ass story. But if you look up Roy DeMeo, he's a notorious oh, mobster. Roy DeMeo is. It's he's dead, but it, he was a notorious mobster back in the '70s, and he killed over 200 people. There's like movies and shit about this. It's the Gambino family and all that stuff. That's that's kind of what's what we're doing. It's, it's crazy. Why as shit. do you think that's a human bone, though? Because suspected there was a body in the trunk. I didn't say you telling me that, but where you found that inside the trunk? It was downstream from the car. So was it in the car? No. Now we're talking 50 years, so it, 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 this could be spread all over the damn place. But if it's, if it's inside the trunk, how can the body get out of the trunk? 50 years, there's no car left. This is just like remains, oh, I see what axles, saying. there's a steering wheel, all the plastic shit's still there. You know, but like obviously the trunk is not intact anymore. So like if there was a body in there, it's it's gotten washed downstream, back upstream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it, like I said, it could be a steak dinner, it could be a human femur, we just don't know. But his story panned out, the car is there where he dumped it. You know what I'm saying? So we wanted to get you guys involved, see what you thought. He's been talking to a detective at 114th. And what they say? They're interested. We, 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 we misplaced his name, but he's definitely said, if you can find proof of the car in there, we'll open the case. Call, call that squad to see. Okay. You got the guy's name? His name's Kevin Kevin Marr, M-A-H-E-R. Name, date of birth, address, everything. I don't know all that from him. You want to get it? I can get it, yeah. Okay. He means well. But he ain't got no damn filthy as well. He's dumping cars. Well, I mean, like I said, he, he turned himself around because he turned car thief to informant. You know, and then he was informant on, Allegedly. on people. It's all documented. All this shit's documented. So you, you, work, you believe work. everything he's saying? 
Are you telling me? Everything's panning out. He has, he has There's, books he has written. Number one bestseller. He has books, no, novels written. He's, he oh, does? Yeah, he does. He's got two number one bestsellers on, yeah. on the book. Oh, uh, crimes? His shit is his life story. Is What's it called? Cop Without a Badge? Cop Without a Badge. Cop Without a Badge yeah. is one of his books. That's crazy, but... It sounds nuts, but if you do history on this, like, it's... Oh. Yeah, it's, it's fucking good. It's, it's a wild story. Yeah. I mean, we honestly, we can leave it at that. And then, like, if we can get any more information, or, like, you know, any more evidence we can find, we we'll definitely get you guys. If you contact. can find a bone, bone that I know it's a human bone, I don't know what that, what that is. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it could be a damn dog bone for all we know. Oh, but I know. This, it was just crazy coincidence that I was in the vicinity of this thing, and the dude, like, chopped up the victim. So that's why we was like, well, well, we'll take it anyways and see. So all the officers are talking to the lieutenant right now, trying to figure out what they want to do, how they want to handle the situation. It's definitely, uh, definitely strange, not common, but um, hopefully we can figure out this bone, get some more information, and go from there. I'm going to call the 108, because the 108 is where it was put in, and just because it traveled down this way, I don't know, it's possession, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I just want to Like I said, I don't even know, but anyway, I teased you. But I, you know, I respect everything that you guys do. I respect that shield. I respect everything that you do, especially the shit that you have to put up with today. God bless you. I appreciate it. It almost looks like every metal part dissolved and it was all the electronics left over. Basically, that makes sense. And then, except for the, the two tires and the axle, well, that means like you could do like a, 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 a like he was saying. I looked. I mean, if it you was fan that way, it yeah, fan that way, because the current goes this way, it, yeah. it could wash them. Who the hell knows how far? Yeah, you? with a little little like we could find something. Yeah. All right, guys. So we just got out of the water, talking to the police. Um, this has been a crazy adventure. No, I yelled at the police. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. You guys saw, um, definitely, you know, he, he's has 50 years of not knowing, and we were able to find this car for him, and, uh, you know, Jeremy found that part of the bone, so hopefully we can get, like, a forensic anthropologist to run that. Uh, you know, the police, it, you know, it's kind of a long shot. They need more evidence, so if we can do that, get it scanned, provide that evidence, and then we can determine that is a part of human remains. We already know that's the car. Um, and we're gonna do everything we can on social media to do that. Maybe that'll be in this video. Maybe it won't, but the fact is we had a mission. We came here, we found the car. A huge shout out to Sean, Ed, Mike, Bob out there, everybody. We literally could not have made this uh, video happen. And all y'all watching and supporting us. I never thought I'd be in New York City like this. This is amazing. This is gonna be like the biggest, craziest case. Probably, <laughs> definitely so far in my life, but we're gonna keep on searching. And uh, Kevin. Yeah. You know, glad Thank we you. It was help a pleasure. You out, find that that car. Hopefully, we can. It's get like clay. Now it's closure. Now, yeah, closure. if that bone does turn out to be human, then they have another issue. These right. guys over here. Well, maybe I'm just gonna go to the FBI. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna do more research. I mean, we have I mean, the car. This, that's that's the. This that was the a, wild car. Yeah. I'm, and now, now they brought up my steering wheel yeah. that I drove that car there. Stuff. I gotta go. I gotta we go. Some fly out of I'll here. I'll later we, on. Yeah, buddy. I'll see you. Hey, thank you, guys. Hey. It was a pleasure meeting you. God bless you. Yeah. We'll stay in touch. So, uh, get back on the boat. It's a good day. Yeah, let's get on the boat and uh, wrap this video up. Sweet. Yeah. Alright guys, we just got back to the boat ramp, cleaning up all of our gear. Once again, huge shout out, Sean, Eddie, Bob over there. And uh, like we seriously, it, everything, every piece fell into place. We could not have even began to do this at all uh, without their assistance in getting these boats. So really appreciate it. No hey, problem, we wouldn't be able to pull any of this off without you guys. That was really awesome. Well, we had a ton of fun and I can't believe the uh, stuff that we found. Yeah, I mean, every, it, I mean, to be continued, right? To be, to be continued. Yeah, now we, need, now we have more answers, more questions and answers. Yeah, yeah. Except we know where the car really. is, so. But if you guys are ever in the New York area, if you're a part of a film production crew, if you like what you see, which you can't not what you like what you see, because this is, what, what is this boat from? This is uh, United States Navy CERC or RPB. It's a uh, riverine patrol boat. It's also known as a small unit riverine craft. Okay. And uh, it's for going up rivers. This one was in the Euphrates River in 2006. Dang. It's kind of cool. It's got a little history to it. She's running good now. Still oh, yeah. got some quirks, but you know. 
So, uh, did the job today. Yeah, sure. yeah, did the job. So, I mean, if you guys need anything from assistance, any type of safety from swimming Pretty out much, here, you do it all. Whatever, yeah, do it man. all. It's I'll, on the wall, it's on the water. Whatever, man. We'll do it. So, I'll put his email down <laughs> here. Or, yeah, yeah, it's good. I'll put his info in the business. screen yeah. in the description. So, if you guys are ever in the area, 